hello and welcome back to another video in the practical sql for beginner series in this video we're going to look at three commands and in and between and we're going to see how they work by writing code like usual all right so the hand operator you often use it to combine different conditions take for example now in this video we're going to use the hand operator to return records from the present table where the contact type is single contact and they are in category 2 for the email promotion so two things we want to make sure this person the list of records you are returning back are people who are in person type sc and also belongs to email promotion category 2 so how do we do that first let me show you the table select star from person dot person all right so let's run this and see Oops, Celesta from person. All right, so we have a lot of columns here, but we're interested in the person type. Where the person type is SC, standard, uh, which which is um, the single contact that's under the person type SC, and we're looking for email promotion. You will see email, these are email promotion category. They belong to category zero, one, or two, but we're interested in category two. So these are two conditions. To satisfy these two conditions, we use AND. AND means the person must be of person type SC and also belongs to email promotion category 2. Right, let's write the query and see how it works. So what do we need to return from that person? Let's just say, let's return the first name, the last name, the person type and the email promotion category. So I'm going to just come back to this same query and this time around look for first name no first name i need first first name i also need last name present type present type then email promotion all right i'm going to run this first okay we have it done but we have not stated our conditions so first we're you know the person type the person type is equal to sc now we also want to be sure that the email promotion category is two so i have to add and this is where the and is coming in and email promotion equals to two so now we have been able to successfully use the and command okay so let's select and run this all right so you can see now that the person type is sc and email promotion is two we've been able to satisfy that now the next task is to look at the in operator there are a lot of instances where uh, you are either making a selection and you are filter you want to filter your response uh, by some values that are within range not range like that but more than one and their character take for example you want to select first uh, first name you want to select details of people whose first name are either fred mary or george can you see that so you have three different names so instead of saying um where first name is fred or where first name is mary or where first name is george instead of stating that what if you have up to five seven we'll be stating all or seven times that's where the in comes very handy so we're going to go back and also write this I'm calling now select star. We need everything now from see this person, person dot person. Now where the first name, yeah, first name. We're going to write in. You can put in capital or small letter. Then you open a bracket, and this way you're going to state where it is. So what are the names? Fred. And next, let's look at George. And last, let's look at Mary. So I can close the bracket. So now it's going to make sure that every detail is returning back to us. The first name are either Fred, George, or Mary. Let, maybe we should even you know, make it easier and just look for first name. So the first name, last name. So that we can filter the responses easily. First name last name all right so let us let and then run this query 
great. If you pay attention, you're going to see Mary, Mary, George, Mary, George, Fred. These are what you will see because of the query we've written. So in will help you instead of stating repeatedly those conditions and either adding and or 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 instead of adding or you just put all of them in that bracket and say as far as that thing you need is inside this bracket bring them you know on so let's look at the last one in this video which is the between this time around we're going to look at under table so we've been talking about um present table let's go back to employee table human, human resources table that's the employee employee table and what we're interested in we want to use the between operator to return you know records from the employee table where the employees have sick leave now this time i want to check if their sick leave is between 40 and um, 99 hours let's say 40 and 80 hours we just want to check so i'm going to write select this time around um there's a star from human resources dot employee that's a table now where sick there's something called sick leave hours now where sick leave hours is between 40 and 80 see how we are combining it for numbers now because these guys are numbers between 40 and 80 instead of setting where it's less than uh, where it's greater than 40 and less than 80 you can actually write that but of course, it's still the same thing as saying between this and 80. All right, so let's run this and um, see. Awesome. So we have those guys where the sick leave hours is between um, 40 and 80. You will not see anything less than 40 here, and neither will you see anything greater than 80. Okay, so, so do you see? Um, and I'm just trying to explore those commands one by one. Later, the goal is to help you to bring everything together write complex query ask questions and um, where we have to combine all these things but first you should be introduced to those commands don't forget to like this video and also com uh, comment if you have any question and um, subscribe to this youtube channel so that you get notified when next video drops in the next video i'm going to talk about the the string how do you work with string and how do you do you know the white cards where you do a lot a lot of uh, those white cards to filter um, string or character or text. So we're going to consider that. I, I actually look forward to that. So thank you and see you in the next video.